Wow! <laughs> Comes with a lot of stuff. Look, quick run through, and then I'm gonna put it together, and I'm gonna put the camera right on it. You guys, see what it, you guys seen what it looks like already, but I wanna show you what it looks like in my hands, all right? So first thing is the coolest thing is the grip. Everybody had the grip, so. Wow. Man, this thing feels like something. Definitely feels really solid. That's one. I'll just get this out of the way. It's a pack, I already know what's inside, and you guys know what's inside as well. Has all the cables and plates and everything else. The base of what I like to call the model pod. So tripod, this is a tripod, all right? And then, then just the main thing right here, I'm gonna lift this out slowly. Oh my goodness, look at that. I might put this on my Instagram just the way it looks. How about that? Well, there you have it. Give me two seconds while I piece this together. Hello. Hello. Okay, gimbal's on and this is in. It's locked in. Very easy to use. So right now I'm gonna go out in the field. We got a production shoot going on and this is where we're gonna go use it. I will say one thing. In all the reviews that I've watched, a lot of people said it was heavy and a few of them said it's not that heavy. I can tell you now, for me, I'm a big guy. So honestly, balance, it's okay. I mean, it's not that heavy for me, but I could see that if you're using this for 10 hours or six hours or four hours, if you're doing that, you're doing really well by, by the way. So <laughs> it's, uh, it could definitely wear you down, but uh, two arm, two hands, you're good. It's exciting. Let's go use it. <laughs> guys are doing well look what's behind me blue water and Burj Al Arab is right there but a little steamy today so can't really see it much but we got an exciting weekend planned out we're actually shooting for a client down here and what we're doing is we're trying to cover all the activities and the waterworks and the pretty much everything in the hotel so I'm gonna take you guys along with me because it's just more fun when you guys are watching all right so let's go all right, I'm here with Weesography, he's setting up his shot. This is we're doing some interior shots. Other guys are filming inside. I'm being in my frame. And of course, we got our director in the frame over there. I didn't even realize it. <laughs> he shouldn't be roll. Well, I guess you might as well have me in the frame too, man. Is that all right? Yeah, I guess. Is it okay if I'm in the frame, man? <laughs> and I missed the shot. You missed the shot. Oh, you're trying to get the. Wait, you're trying to get the boat. You're trying to get the boat. I'll get everything. He's trying to get that boat. Oh, you guys can't see that. No, 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 no. He's trying to get that boat, guys, right there. Look at that. Oh, man. You can still catch the boat, man. It looks really nice. 
Okay, don't move. Okay. All right, this is our director, Hamam, and we are using the Ronin S, man. Ronin S, brand new. Brand new, setting this guy up to do so some cinematography work. So let's assume that let's assume that Wasim is the model right here. All right. This is for one of the <laughs> cinematic scenes that we're that we're going to be shooting in the hotel for the client. So it's cool. The motor's not in the way. Huh? You could actually see the screen. Yeah, exactly. It's very useful. I think I go for 80. So the movement is gonna be this way. Hope you guys like my socks. Yeah, they look great, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought you had slippers on. So the movement is gonna be, I'll be panning up and tilting the gimbal down. So okay. it will give this nice, you know, revealing from bottom to top view <laughs> okay so we're shooting with the Ronin S right now and we've been testing it out so far it's been doing what it's supposed to do it's been being stable <laughs> which is exactly what we wanted to do so um, I'm shooting with the crane 2 it's pretty stable in itself but we'll talk about the details later let's go back to shooting okay cut cut I want to see how this looks like sure let's come check her out was that still in the frame or we'll see now it's coming out okay, okay. Uh, you can't three videos, so here you go uh, can't see it anyway three videos here you go three videos much love on the iPhone this is nice. I love it. thank you insta stories Okay, it is steaming hot. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, we've been shooting with the Ronin S for a little while right now and it's been doing pretty good. So what do you think, uh, Hamam? I'm with Hamam, by the way. He's a production camera guy, so what do you think, man? It's lovely, it's amazing. I mean, the load it can take is insane. Okay. We had some technical issue. We were like, uh, it was imbalanced, but we got everything set up and perfectly balanced now it's it's just a beast it's I think like, exactly insane. I think the problem was we, we, we had a the one of the issues we had was we felt like it wasn't operating right and then we discovered that it wasn't quite balanced even though it looked like it was well balanced it wasn't exactly there so once we got it balanced the right way everything was just smooth now what we're shooting with right there in your hands what you guys are looking at that's the crane too so if it dollies back and forth that move back and forth Ali front and then move back it's very smooth obviously you guys know the crane too it does the job well so we're doing that along with uh, you know we're, we're, we're doing a little bit of a comparison so um so far so good and in the heat has it shut off on you this is nope. extreme heat by the way yep. 40 degree plus celsius look at us <laughs> yeah how's it how's it been it's been all right it's, it's quite hot man no no i mean i mean yeah uh, yeah no it's, no it's, overheating it's, nothing nope, like that nope. nothing weird it's running perfectly it's yeah, it's made for the Middle East. Okay. Made for the Middle East, man. <laughs> GCC specs. Yeah, it's, it's Dubai production thing. <laughs> Dubai production. All right, so, um, yeah, we're going to keep shooting. All right. Rolling and action. Cut. Man, I always cut your, like, like your throat for some reason. Doing a scene where he hides right behind a tree. So he's playing like a little bit of a the annoying guy at the hotel that's creeping up on the girl so that's what he's playing and uh right now he's hiding behind the tree so I'm taking it scene by scene we'll do it one more time yeah malish I'm shall sorry. i bend lower
you see Hamam almost went in the water with the gimbal and the camera. That would have been a disaster. <laughs> We are filming the biggest burger in the UAE. Where to go? Where's the burger, man? Okay guys, we've been using the Ronin S on this project now for about, this is the third day actually, we're, and we're wrapping it up right now. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about using the Ronin S out in the field. All in all, big success. Uh, main, my main concern was, I've seen a lot of vlogs that were 26 minutes long and 30 minutes long and 15 minutes long. That's all good, because for someone that wants a detailed breakdown of how this unit operates, that's probably what you wanna go watch. My main concern was, how does it perform out in the real world? During production shoots, during clips and B-rolls and everything else, how does it hold up? Does it, can it carry the weight that it claims to carry? Can it do all these things? Well, the answer is now, on the third day of shooting, yes, it does. It actually does the job and more. This guy just messed up my vlog. They wanted to come in on purpose and mess it up, but it's all good anyway, we're almost done here. So I'm not gonna take up any more of your time, the Ronin S, the Ronin S definitely is a, a highly recommended, good unit. Uh, I like the Crane 2, very good. I'm still keeping the Crane 2, I'm still using it, but uh, I think this might be my go-to gimbal from now on. It just, uh, I feel like it has a good grip from the, from the bottom to the top because there's even rubber on the tripod itself. It kind of makes a difference with the, Ron with the uh, Crane 2. It's all metal, it's all fine, but when it's hot out there, the metal gets really hot. So that's something that's just, just little details, you know, that kind of make a difference. Uh, the rubber feels good when you hold it. It just, it, it just, it's just easier to maneuver, okay? But uh, that's pretty much it. I like it. If you guys have any questions about the Ronin S, please leave them in the comment section down below. And a big thank you to Advanced Media, DJI Global, for uh, sending me the Ronin S. I'm really happy that I was able to try it out before it hit the market in this area, at least we're in Dubai, in case you guys didn't know. And uh, yeah, this unit should be out pretty soon. If you're watching this after August, it's probably already out, and I hope you're enjoying it if you have one. Again, thanks for following, thanks for watching. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit that bell, that way you guys get notified every time I get a new video. We're always doing production work, we're gonna be doing a lot more production work. We're gonna be posting it online for you guys to watch. Thanks again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Salam alaikum. Let me touch you like the first time